we're talking about is artificial intelligence, predictive analytics, um, extended reality. So um, virtual reality, augmented reality, metaverse, et cetera. And then Web3, blockchain, and so forth. I mean, these are all... Um, these are the emerging technologies that are kind of on their minds. And I was really interested to hear or to, to, to find that they're all kind of in a similar, most of them are in a similar place and that they feel that they need to be experimenting with uh, these technologies. And uh, they don't have the luxury of, of uh, sitting back, waiting to see how the technology evolves, which platforms are the winners and which are not. Um, and they're all kind of taking measured um steps towards experimenting and, and learning about it um you know ai is certainly further along than some of the other technologies i mentioned right they're they're actually you know knee deep in that now but um they're really embracing it and you know testing and learning and just you know kind of kicking the tires if you will and, and i think that that's you know really very smart the other another thing i think that came out of this especially the ai portion of technology is the belief that this has the ability to elevate the, the stature of marketing within the company, within the C-suite in particular. So uh, by that, I mean, if you use AI right, right, and, and, and you don't necessarily need to be a data scientist, but you need to, to um, understand the capabilities of AI. You need to understand what the CIO can do for you that he or she may be your best friend as much as uh, the head of sales, right? Um, that if you embrace that, you really can start to own the growth agenda for your company to a much higher level than, than you may have been previously because of all of the power that, um, that, that the technology brings. So, but then at the same time, I'm guessing that some of them could be wasting an absolute fortune on experimenting with ai but i i assume that's just part of the cause and and that's that's taken into account uh you know f for whatever loss they may have as long as they get some big wins it work it balances yeah i i, I think so and, and one of the things um some of the cmos actually even use this um verbiage they said it's it's crawl walk run right okay so the crawling is, you know, let's say we're talking about AI, so we'll stay on that for a moment. That might just be, you know, you're experimenting with gen generative AI, right? So it could be as simple as using chat GPT or an equivalent. But as you start to get comfortable with that, as you begin to realize its impact, uh, its potential, as well as um, what it does well and what it doesn't, you know, then you might want to start thinking about customizing these things right so it's not just the off the shelf but it's customized chat gpt and then for certain things uh, especially like mission critical um functions within your company you might want to bring it in house right and actually start building your own ai uh, in this case generative ai infrastructure right your own gpt if you will um so that you have it in house and it's proprietary and so forth you don't necessarily need to go to that final, nor would you want to go to that final step, in, you know, right out of the gate, right? You kind of work your way up to it gradually.